Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to union two different custom SQL queries when using two different data sources, okay, in Tableau. So let us take a look at the data source that I have in front of me. As you can see, I'm using sample superstores data orders column in MS SQL over here. I filtered my categories to office supplies. And if I just simply run this query, I'll get the result. Whereas I have different data source called MS SQL, where I'm using exactly same data source called Superstore, but over here I'm filtering the data at category equals to technologies. Now I want to union these two different data sources with this custom SQL query in Tableau. Let us see how we do it. I'm gonna launch Tableau. I've connected to MySQL, I've connected to MS SQL. I'm gonna create a dummy data source over here through Excel. So maybe I'll just open Excel over here. And say source type. I'm gonna say one and two. Let me copy these three cells and paste it in Tableau, which will automatically sense those copied cells from Excel. I'm going to rename this to dummy database. Okay. I'll rename over here as dummy dataset. Okay. Let me connect to MS SQL and select custom SQL query. I'm going to paste or copy this query and paste it over here. I'm going to define my join by using create relationship calculation one over here and one over here because I do not have any common fields. It's just a ad hoc calculation that I've used for joining my data source. I'll rename this to something called as office supplies. I'm going to connect my MS SQL, my data source over here. Again, select custom query. We'll copy this custom SQL from here. Maybe I'll just copy this guy and select OK. Now, I want to join this on the dummy set. So I'll just drag my uh, connection to dummy data set. Save. I'll create relationship on any ad hoc calculation i'm just putting as one and clicking on apply read this to technology and look i'm using the relationship model and not the actual physical join now let us click on sheet one over here let me create one calculated field let's say pain city for example so I'm going to say case source, okay, when, one, then I'm going to say as city from my office supply, okay. So I'm going to say one, two, then I'm going to say city from my custom SQL query two, okay. Let me define what is one and two over here. Okay, we'll just double click over here and say as, oh, Technology. We yeah, are just copying it. Okay. Make this as technology and call this as office supply. That should tell me easily which one to use what. Alright. So I've just appended my data into my data source. I'll perform similar exercise and duplicate this time to append my category okay i'll say over here category i'll just say here category from this two okay I'll double click on this and you can see only i have two different category as office supplies and technologies over here only 
okay maybe i'll just remove the city and just keep the appended data set which is office supplies and technology okay i'm going to create another calculated field and let us print the values for sales here i'm going to call as sales just use sum of sales from my office supplies and sum of sales from my technology it is asking me to aggregate my calculation so i'll use attr at the start and click on apply and okay I'll just double click over here i'll just put it on my label let me expand these numbers and just put it little one decimal We'll just do it for one. Okay. So let us see if these numbers are correct. I'll simply go over here and say sum of sales and run this calculation. You can see seven one nine zero four seven, which has been printed over here. And also do the same exercise for here. Maybe run this eight three. Six one five four, which is here. Thank you for watching.